rent of moratoriums where people didn't have to pay their rent, landlords couldn't throw them out. Well, now, since everything is back to normal, landlords are trying to collect their rent. They don't even want to hear nothing about it. They throwing people out. So there was a news report that say black women were, you know, the leading group being thrown out of their places to stay. Now, they had this one sister that took issue with some of you brothers that are speaking about this online. Let's review it. I got a real question. Why are black men glossing about the statistics that shows that black women are the most evicted in America? I want to know who's gloating. I haven't personally seen those videos. I have seen videos of black men discussing this topic, actually on a serious matter, right? But I haven't... Yeah, everyone from Terrence Samuels to, uh, I'm going to say some people on the lighter side of the manosphere, and, and I mean lighter side as in they talk about more factual things. Like, uh, it's complicated, is not manosphere. He's more black pill. But does he get that info for the manosphere? Yes, he does. And that's not the purpose of his channel, but has it become a go-to for a lot of things? Yes. I haven't seen nobody saying, ah, that's good for y'all. I haven't seen that. So where are you seeing this at? Not to say it didn't happen, but it's not in the majority. I will say that. You see, that shows me that no matter what, y'all will never, ever look at yourselves. And it's sad. It is. What? Why are we looking at ourselves? Great what? question. <laughs> what did we do? I'm not even a parent. I'm trying to figure that out. What did we yo, do? Yo, I'm not even a parent. What did we do? <laughs> Sad. And if black women don't see this as a reason to leave y'all alone for good, I don't know what will ever cause black women to just leave y'all alone. Okay. Let's say they, they take your advice. Let's say they take your advice. What is the option for them then? Like, we just talking about statistically. The majority of any people group throughout the world are with their own community. There's a minority in every group who are, you know, married, dating, etc., uh, to people of other communities, right? It is, it is the minority. It's not the majority. So since the majority of any people group be with people within their own community, where do black women supposed to go? I mean, don't say zaddy because Z zaddy ain't marrying you. You know that much, because as I said before, the main reason he's not marrying you is because you can't produce Emily and Connor. You can't do that, okay? Uh, something to say to it. Look, I get the way he's... Here, here's the thing. I've heard this type of rhetoric that he's saying being reversed. And, and a lot of women think, oh, so it is the right thing to do. You know, they just think spread out to any other community. I personally, while I don't care when it comes to the argument of this whole thing... I say just let them go. You know, don't don't tell them to think. Just go on ahead. Because they're not trying to... What she's saying is not on logic. It's not on logic in the slightest. Uh, we all know about the 20-80%. We all know that most married men and men who uh, are with their women will protect their kids. That's just not the face in the forefront because out of all the other percentages of children born here in America... Not only do they have the same father from the black community, let me make it clear, from the black community, not only do they have the same father, uh, there are multiple women who made the same type of decision. So out of men, it's 20-80. But over there with women, it's, it's uh, more like 80-20. Like only a small percentage don't have kids, don't get certain things, don't do this, that, and the other. So, okay. I also talked about why Zaddy is not an option for you. It's because due to the history and how those, you know, those people are, especially with us as black people, you know, the long, long history. Uh, some of them don't care. I've been in some of these liberal spaces and they chance it. And there's been times when women who are black have dated conservative or outright Republican men who, uh, yeah, the black women didn't care. When they care about uh, just being anti-black, anti-black establishment, caring about themselves as the individual, that's the moves that they're willing to make. So that we have, um, they're not going to mess up their money and anything else to be with you. So where are you actually going to go? You can't say Hispanic men because that's not going to work because they, you know, don't you know fool with y'all like that in mass. Can't say Asian men; they don't fool with y'all like that in mass. Can't say Arab men; 
Can't say Indian men. Can't say no other man date and marry you in the rate that black men date and marry you. So where do, where were they supposed to go? Where? Because instead of saying black men, we got to do better. The mothers of our children are suffering. Our children. I want to wait till the end, but she just lets ignorance come out. I don't have any kids. And Kevin Samuels already proved that it, it was one of the rhetorics that he continued to prove is that uh, over 50% of black men in the black community are childless. And out of the top percentage, close to 30% of men are married. So that 20%, that little bit over 20% are producing most of the kids in the community. So you're arguing about a finite small amount of black men taking responsibility for all these kids. Or is she trying to guilt every percentage of man, of, of black man into doing this? That's why she's trying to play the race card like, oh, we, we have options. No, go over to the options. I, I want to hear the results of what's going on, but like, Altogether, this, this sounds stupid, but... ...children and their mothers are becoming homeless because we are not measuring up, we are not hard enough, we are not doing anything for them. We are useless, we are worthless. So, oh, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. So, it's black men's fault? It's black men's fault. How? She said, the mother of your children. The man is not in control of that place of state. If yeah, he's not took with him her. A Prime example. Let's say it was a situation like that, right? And I had a child. And I heard something like that going on. I said, okay, well, I need my child. I need my child here with me. Because I'm not going to have my child in the street, right? What do you expect? Him to take her in? That is the mother of his child, allegedly. Because not all these women got children like that. But that is the mother of his child. That doesn't mean whatever problem she get into, he's supposed to come solve it. No. If it has to do something with his child, yes. Yes, he's supposed to go get his child and bring his child home with him because his child does not be in the, need to be in the streets. I'm hearing a lot of this. It's all black men's fault for what y'all have done. Because remember, black men don't control y'all, remember? You don't listen to the instruction of a black man, remember? No, so we're talking about the, the majority. You don't. You're hard-headed. You don't want no That's instruction true. from no man. Very true. And then when women actually come on the internet and tell you you're going to need some instruction from a man, what, what do you call them? Pick me. You call them mammies, which is so disrespectful to call a, a, a black woman a mammy. Being another black woman. We are of no good to our women and children because why are our women and children becoming homeless? Y'all bragging about it. Oh, my children are homeless. Oh, my God. <laughs> See, I've been better than... Sounds like she has personal experience with this man in particular. Because we don't see both back seats, but there may be a car seat in the back. Because there's no way. There, there's no way. And, and this is what I'm saying. If anything, this should be telegraphed to Africa to let them know why to not take on these modern ways, not to, why not to accept the help, and why to not deal with any of that schooling BS. Just, just why it's a bad idea. It's a bad idea because just as soon as they're even or equal, they're going to blame men. Like, I, I want to be for empowerment. I really do. But she's blaming a small percentage. You two, this is, this is, uh, this is sexist. This is racist. She, she's being like this. And, and it's allowed to be championed. Her personal point of view. And the thing is, there are channels on YouTube. Because I'm looking to see if those ones get affected by what's going on with everything being called radical, right, and this, that, and the other. Because are they radical? Yes. But if the divestment channels are not, are, are not touched on... If playing those channels aren't uh, covered, then I'm going to address that. Because for the divestment, there are women like this who are blaming, if you do the math, a small percentage of men, 20% of men, for the outcome for the entire... Uh,